you have to use like your hands kind of as like a catapult to bounce off him to turn his shoulders so the guard can come around, um, you know, and maximize his leverage also. Um, so it's, it's different stuff like that. Um, you you got to be aware of. You can't just run off a wall and try to, you know, just beat a guy. You know, you got to be thinking about this stuff beforehand, um, you know, to maximize yourself, to help your guard, and also, you know, be effective on a second level. Um, you know, that comes with film, seeing how players play. Um, you know, if you have a bigger guy like that, you can kind of you kind of get out of there fast, at least for me. Um, you know, and try to try to drive it vertical to make it get, let your guards' uh, life be a little easier. So, just a little stuff like that you can kind of think about. Do you believe that running back should pay? Um, I think the the main thing for me is just being uh, having a, like a, uh, a more consistent anchor and like uh, pass pro, uh, just like for bull rushes. I, I would like to you know shut down bull rushes faster. I mean I think I do a good job of anchoring on bull rushes, um, but you know I want to do a more consistent faster. You know not not giving too much depth in the pocket. Um, but you know that always that just goes back to technique to be a more consistent has nothing to do with size. Speaking of bull rushes, do you have more issues with nose tackles or defensive tackles that try to blend in and cheat through the gaps? Um, I mean, whoever, whoever presents the best pass rush is the one, you know, who's who's better. Um, I don't have a problem with either of them. Um, like I said, it just comes back to technique. Um, you just got to be able to be able to use your hands and match and match that with your feet. Um, so I, I wouldn't say I have a problem with I, I wouldn't say there's a specific pass rush I have a problem with. You know, you can get beat on any pass rush at any time if, if you're not ready for it. Do you believe that a running back should pay for offensive lineman meals? <laughs> no, nah, that's part of our job, man. You know, we can't expect gifts because, you know, we're doing our job right. Um, but, you know, it, it's nice, though. But, you know, I, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't expect, you know, to get stuff, <laughs> gifts for doing your job. Um, I would say Jason Kelsey probably. Um, just I, I, I try to model my game after him a lot. Um, just his athleticism, you know how he how he lever uses leverage in his blocks. And, um, he's not the biggest guy. He's not the biggest mauler um, guy that everybody's in love with. But you know he's been getting the job done for years. Um, you know I think he's a Hall of Famer. Um, just you know based off his resume and the, you know how he plays so I mean something somebody I definitely model my game after and I, I watch a lot of yeah, yeah. for sure. Uh, uh, certainly. Uh, just the type of coach you know, the type of like I would say his game with that speech is that speech is pretty legendary. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Are you prepared to switch sides? Switch sides? Absolutely as an offensive lineman. Uh, you used to being on the right side, correct? Yeah. Well, I played, I played center my last two years. Okay. So, let's say that you were moved to the guard position. Okay. Would you be ready for that transition knowing that the Catons in the center versus guard is a little bit different? Uh, yeah, I mean, I played, I played right and left guard my first two years at UW, um, so I definitely have that experience. Um, and, you know, I, I, I played, was at, started 20, started 18 games as a, as a guard in college, so I mean, it's definitely something I'm, I'm capable of doing, and I, and, you know, I just like playing online, so wherever, if you wanted to put me at tackle, I'd play. I, I, I just want to play up there somewhere, but I, yeah, I'm definitely comfortable with doing it. What is it about? Yeah, I, I have not, a, I haven't had a formal interview with the Eagles, but I, I've talked to them uh, here and at the senior bowl. And Jason Kelsey was a main topic yeah, in both so, uh, of those. Yeah, so start to the down blocks by yeah, him. We, we usually run it to a close side. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Put the tight end down in the end, um, get the tackle out. And the tackle will usually pick the line depending on the formation. Like, if it's a no tackle and they pick the corner, but if there's somebody lined out there, he might have like a same. Yeah, I think one thing that translates, um, that's going to translate, you know, pretty fast is just my football intelligence. Um, I think I think at UW we we were prepared well um, with the the you know the schematic part of the game and the mental preparation, you know, of, um, of football. Um, so I think it'll translate well, and also just my the nature of me just loving football, and being just a, a nerd for it, and me watching film in my my spare time is just something I do just for fun. So.